Hello, everybody. I'm Father Tom Weisbacher, pastor of St. James Parish, and I'm here to give you uh, our update as to what's happening in our parish. I hope you're having a pleasant summer and getting some time off. Go do some traveling, go visit with some friends, and just be able to take a deep breath and praise God for warm weather and no snow for a while. I'd like to start off today with a sincere thank you to all of you who have turned in your Growing in God's Grace annual stewardship renewal forms. That's, it's so important for us to make a commitment to our faith and, and to um, actually say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to grow in my faith. I'm going to worship the Father. I'm going to um, uh, have some service and also be generous in, in our tithing. We want to respond to God's super abundant graces to us in some way, and this is a way to do it. There's still time to turn in your forms, and we invite every uh, parish household to do so. And, you know, obviously the sooner the better so we can move on in our, our planning. Our mass attendance numbers are going up slowly, and which is very good. It's good to see all your faces. You know, it's, it's uh, good. We've obviously got more room in the church here and for many more people, and we're not quite up to where we were before the, the COVID pandemic, but we invite everyone to do come back and... Um, hear the good news of our Lord. We want to gather as a community of faith to worship our Heavenly Father through, with, and in Jesus Christ. And for those of you who can't go to Mass, we still are live streaming our 930 Mass on Sunday mornings. And uh, just go to our website and scroll down to the, the, uh, uh, on the website and you can find the link and hit it and we'll be, be able to watch us live at 930. Our St. James Annual Festival is only two weeks away. I hope you have it on your calendar. It's, it's kind of, I don't know, I enjoy it. It's, it's a, a lot of fun and, you know, it's, um, we need to get together. You know, it's this COVID thing. We, you know, we, had, we had our mortgage burning last year at our Paris Festival this year. It's, uh, it's going to be normal. It's going to be kind of the fun time that we're used to. And it's, um, so it's, it's kind of, uh, something to look forward to. Actually, this year, the uh, July 25th, which is our, you know two weeks away, is actually the feast day of St. James the Greater. And so we're going to actually uh, get permission from the Archdiocese to make that our, our celebration instead of the, the ordinary time Sunday. The festival itself will be uh, run from 4 to 8 in the afternoon, early evening. It'll be mostly outside in the parking lot, like it always is. But we also have tables set up in the parish center. We'll have our bingo going on as, as normal. Um, you know, we'll have rides and, <clears throat> you know, the games, a picnic dinner, which would be like normal. Bingo, baked goods, cotton candy, snow cones, popcorn, a climbing wall, a dunk tank. <sighs> you can take all your frustrations on me. I'll be there out there for some time, so... Um, you know, that's, that's the hard part about the festival, being the dunk tank, but I offer those up for our parish. We'll have a beer tent, much more. Um, you know, we also, you know, the, the bake good things. Uh, to encourage everyone to come, we've cut the price of admission down to $5 a ticket or $20 for a household family. Obviously, we're not making money on this. That's not what it's about. It's, it's about getting together as a parish uh, at a party, and it's just just a chance to, to build up our social uh, interaction with one another. We, it's been too long that we've been apart, and here's a chance to do it. One of the things about our festival this year is that we're asking for some new volunteers. You know, just you know, we need to kind of move forward in in our um, in our festival in years to come, and we need volunteers this year. Obviously, we need volunteers for games or rides to help sell to help run our bake sale booth, donate some baked goods, um, to sell tickets. We need a security officer. And for the long term, we're looking for more folks to get involved with the leadership and planning for future festivals. If you're able to help, please email or phone Lisa Hayford or Vedica McKinley as listed in our Good News Bulletin. The bottom line is please come. Let's, let's celebrate. Let's have a party together. I love to see a huge crowd there, especially since we miss out so much this past year. 
As you may have noticed in last week's good news, our, one of our prisoners, Nicholas Phillips, was ordained a priest in Florence, Italy uh, on July 1st. He's a member of the Institute of Christ the King Sovereign Priest. He will be celebrating a Mass here in Omaha at Immaculate Conception Church, 24th and Bancroft, on Saturday, July 31st at 9 a.m. Uh, it is a Latin, Latin Mass. They're in union with the, the Holy See, and all of our parishioners are invited to attend. As Father Phillips is the last seminarian from St. James Parish, we will begin again saying the prayer for vocations every Sunday after communing, starting this Sunday. We're still looking for a youth minister to walk with our junior and senior high school students and help them continue growing their faith. If you know someone who could do this, please contact me. By the way, our St. James Seton School registration is still is open for this coming school year. If you'd like to join our school, call the parish off the school office uh, in the mornings any time in the future. I'd like to also add a sincere thank you to all who were so very kind and generous in their thoughts and cards and gifts for my 25th anniversary of priestly formation, ordination. You're so generous, kind. How can I ever say thank you sincerely enough? I mean, I, I just really appreciate that. I, I'm so grateful for having answered the call to the priesthood, and it's been a privilege for me to be pastor here at St. James for the last eight years, and I, I certainly look forward to being your pastor for hopefully many years to come. Thank you for uh, being such welcoming parishioners, and I really feel privileged to be your pastor. Just a reminder, hope certificates are being sold after most Masses every weekend. To conclude, thank you for turning in today, and may Jesus, Mary, and St. Joseph be with us as we continue to move forward in our, our lives. Hope everybody has continues to have a great summer. And may Almighty God bless you abundantly now and forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.